Alrighty, we have the clock figurine for the asylum. And we're gonna use it right here. So it's movie time, everybody! Oh! It's movie time already? If they show us that elephant documentary again, I'll go bonkers. You know, you're already in an asylum, sir. Your mental health has already been questioned. Well, he's blocking all these machines, so we can't mess with them. Uh, let's see, we can't mess with this, though. The Asylum Crest. I think that's it. We, we, we pick that up. Uh, we use it here. Hey, and that gave me uh, a flash key. I think I can also take a look at this. Well, I can cut this open. I've got some scissors. What is it? Oh, what do you know? It's a nose and an eye. Exactly what I need. This guy's just hanging around watching me. Okay. And uh, I'm going to use my diamond ring. Oh, ow. Ow, my ears. Ow, my ears. That gives me the telescopic pointer. Fantastic. Okay, so nose and ear go here. And we're going to spell out Land Swiller's name. Very easy puzzle, actually. Land Swiller! Not so easy. Oh my gosh, let's do this puzzle. Okay. So let's see. The pills, yellow, red, and white. Okay, red and white. Doesn't really matter which order you put the pills in. Uh, blue and then green. This blue one and then the all green one. Hey, hey, and we got one of these gauges. Okay, let's see. This puzzle is to find the things that are different in the pattern. You know, what's missing on one and not the other. Okay, that gives me an eyeball for down here, and a flower for over here. Do I have the flower solution? Here's the flower puzzle. So you basically need to find all the flowers. That's basically how that flower puzzle works. Let's see, can I do this puzzle yet? Yes, I can. All right, this is a maze. Just move this neuron thingamabobber through the maze. You're trying to get to the right-hand side. Luckily, there's only one pathway to get through. This is kind of a cool-looking maze. Looks like a brain. Obviously, that was the intention. And there we go. Oh, gross. That opens the eyeballs. Okay, so you see this meter in the bottom right? Uh, when you click on an eyeball, it lights up a thing on that meter. So just click on all the eyeballs. Done. Giving me another flower for that thing. And then this goes over here for a puzzle. We're going to try to get these... Try to get these things figured out. So get them at the right length. There. So they perfectly fit the left-hand side of the screen and the right-hand side of the screen. Uh, this puzzle we're trying to get over here to the ears. So follow the pathway that leads to there. Hey, what do you know? We got the third flower. That creates a smell, making this nose disappear. That gives me another one of those things and another eyeball. And then the eyeball thing gives me another gauge. And I don't know where the final gauge is. I'll have to use the info button. Pick up the gauge. I Is there a gauge I'm missing somewhere? Oh, it's here. Yeah, okay, so we got that from the ear puzzle as well. Okay, so this is pretty simple. Just match these things to each other. You know, the symbols match each other. So, triangle matches with triangle. Really simple. Really simple. Easy to understand. I think it's cool they had one of these large puzzles. I like it. So, Robert's later findings show more success. Patients with manic disorders were calmer. They were better. So, if you have a manic disorder, you responded to treatment more quickly. But, uh, huh, disrupts violent manic episodes. Few subjects have died during or after. Uh, the machine could be used uh, using Dr. Lanswiller's stuff, uh, but 100% uh, mortality rate. Wait, wait, 100% mortality rate? Why are you messing with a machine that has such a mortality rate? That's just asking for people to die. Yes, it's rest time. My legs are killing me from taking over the asylum. Yes, it hurts my legs quite a bit. Yeah, yes. <laughs> I like how he's making 
noises when he's just going to the next room. Okay, we're gonna grab a record here. We need some sort of a control there. Uh, we need a fan here. Luckily, I've got the fan. We found it outside, and I'm just gonna grab the one thing from this bag. Bag, uh, I'm gonna grab some charcoal. That's what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna put keys in here. Let's just try one. So let's see, there's the outside. Yeah, that's, that's, that's where I got the little fan thing. Okay, I don't need to see the outside. Okay, Mr. D range is fighting Mr. Beetle, and Mr. Beetle is winning that argument. Oh, that's unfortunate. Ah! And that, that is, that is creepy. Okay, the creepy Dalamar twins are here. But we opened the storage room, so that's good. I don't know. Well, storage room is open. Let's go inside. Let's see what we can do. I think we can knock this off for a hidden objects challenge. What do you say? Hidden object challenge? Hidden objects challenge. Oh, boy. Oh, that's the item we're supposed to find. Great. That's, uh, whatever you call it, the... What is it? It's like a meter thing that will let us open that machine in the other room. Basically. Okay, I need a heart. I need uh, chestnuts, I need a comb, and I need some pills. These pills, this pill challenge is kind of tough. Uh, okay, so, slot one needs two of the blue things. It's not tough, it's just long. And then three of these red pills. Put that down, click the button in the middle. Now I want to do number two, so that's a yellow, and then two whites. Four is going to be three whites. One, two, three. Two of the red pills. And one of the blue pills. Six is going to be one of the yellow pills. And one of the white pills. That wasn't so bad. That wasn't so bad. And I got the amphire meter. That's what it's called. Okay, I'm grabbing this. I need a record pin, though. I can't work that without the record pin. The burden of revolutionary discoveries is heavy. Every patient died horribly. I question my decision, but I'll continue. No! Don't continue! Don't continue! Just stop there! It's it's quite simple to... Whatever. Oh, boy. Hopefully those are notes from the, the ancestor, like a hundred years ago, and not, not recent notes. Anyway, Amphir goes here. Okay, giving me two items for the room I was just in. Great, we're slowly making progress here. Ah, this is going to be another kind of long puzzle. So this puzzle, what you want to do is uh, grab the keys and just put the keys into place. You want to be pretty careful about what the keys look like. So that's not the correct design. That's the correct design. Actually, maybe even just... Looking the design at the top is probably way easier, a way easier way to match it. That can't be right. Well, then I can't see which one this is. Maybe some of these keys are incorrect. I don't know. This is a large one. That goes there. This one has three circles, so that goes there. This is sort of a small one, yes. Well, one of the keys we know doesn't match, so I guess we have to match all the other keys to be sure. This one doesn't look like it has a match either. Maybe that one. Yeah, so maybe this far right key doesn't. Maybe that key goes there, and this key's the far right, meaning this is the one in the middle. The power box key, which has no match. Great. Solve that puzzle. Record player uh, needle Every goes there. Every day at 6.30 p.m., the hallway clock chimes. When the patients hear it, they rush back to their cells to receive their medication. Excellent. Okay, so that will definitely get them out of the hall using hint to make sure there's nothing left, which is the case, so let's move on. <laughs> Nurse, pull yourself together. It's time for our medication. Yes, back to ourselves for those sweet Vroom. blue, yellow, and purple pills. <laughs> he was talking at the same time he was talking. Okay, they really enjoy their medication, so let's go upstairs. And this is the real staff. Oh, help me! Get me out of here! 
prescription for the best doctor. Okay, so this is what the real staff... The real staff was just shoved into a cocoon, it looks like. That's... that's unfortunate. Okay, let's see. Power box key over here. Wire connectors over here. Just click this multiple times. That should work. And oh no, not this puzzle. Wait, yes, this puzzle. I think I might be able to solve it. Okay, this is a hidden objects challenge. Let's go for it. Assault. Um, let's see. Uh, tea infuser. Carving fork. Coffee beans. I don't see a bottle cap or a tea bag anywhere. Um, tea bag. Bottle cap is inside lettuce. Why would somebody put a bottle cap inside lettuce? I don't know. Anyway, let's go into the doctor's office. So the main doctor's office, Dr. Lanswill. Maybe that's his ancestor. Maybe that is his ancestor. Alfred. Wait, something written on the back, huh? Well, I'll use my charcoal here. Six three two eight five one two. We're gonna use that over here. Just pull this behind. Use that carving fork. I love how we've got love letters here. We can't check out those love letters. Six three two eight. Oh no. Six three two eight five one two. Right. Unfortunately, my research has stalled. Patients that survived have gone back to their previous psychotic states. Oh, but there is a weird liquid that's coming out of them, so that might be a breakthrough. No, 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 that doesn't sound like a breakthrough at all. That sounds actually kind of terrible. Okay, we need some sort of skull thing there. Hey, I can open up that. that that's kind of cool. That is kind of cool. Yeah, okay, um, stethoscope here. This is going to be a puzzle, so I want to turn right until I can hear something. I'll see it appear on the DB thing. Here it goes. This is about 10. Now I'm going left. That's about 30. And 5. So 10, 30, and 5. That's That gives us this puzzle. Okay, so this puzzle is kind of a disaster. <laughs> okay, let's just move these things everywhere. I will give it an honest try. We'll see if I can solve this puzzle. So first, I'm just going to get those two pieces up there. That's what I'm doing. Just getting rid of those two pieces, getting them completely out of the way. Okay. Now, it's just sort of a matter of moving these pieces around correctly. Hmm, let's see. Yeah, see, if I move this piece up, it, it, it's, it's not going to work. I want to get this piece over here on the far uh, bottom right-hand side. Um, alrighty then. Yeah, I need to create some sort of room. Ah! These pieces are not sliding very well. If I move that piece down there, that's going to give me a little bit of room to put this, uh... This one's sort of over here in the upper right. So if I move this piece up here, move this piece around, and then this piece down. Sort of. Be nice, because I could get... If I could get that piece down there, that would be perfect. Because then I'd slide it in here and get this piece there. Yeah, nice. Anyway, I'm gonna skip this puzzle. There's the solution. In very, very fast mode. Let's just move on to the final room of the game. My brain, ow. My brain, okay. So I wanna put three masks here. Uh, let's see, I'm gonna put this thing here. That opens up that. Giving me some medical tongs. I need a way to open up this so I can grab that. I need a brain here. Okay, Hint is saying I'm grabbing this thing. Oh, okay, well the surgical drill is going to go there so I can turn this off so I can easily grab that. That's the electroshock helmet for inside the office. 
that should give me this chair control. Excellent. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Is there another space here that I can use the medical tongs? Yes. Yes, there's another space on the screen. I didn't look at that yet. It was the fireplace. It's the fireplace. So I'll use the chair controls over here on the chair in order to get the other face. Putting all three of these faces together will give me... Whoa! Whoa! Information on me! How did they already have information about me? Hi... Did they know I was coming, or, or what? I don't know. Anyway, the brain goes over here for the final puzzle of the game. We're just gonna destroy the machine. So, uh, let's, let's move these two things to the right, because that's what the bottom says. And that says no positive to positive, no negative to negative. So, that's wrong, that's wrong, and these things are wrong. Let's turn it on. Boom! We destroyed the machine. Well, you've lived up to Grandfather Alistair's expectations. That's no small feat. You were, you were chosen, chosen, Benedict. Let's, Let's begin, begin, shall we? Uh, what? And, uh, well, this is how the Dalamars took over poor Benedict. Gwendolyn marries him. You may have damaged the machine, but you can't damage his design. There's enough energy left for one last charge. And you? will be the honored patient. <laughs> Benedict. 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 Finally, your mind is within my grasp. Come, child. You'll become one of us. Benedict, darling. sad ending. Yeah, it, we, we kind of knew that was coming. Like, this is the story of Benedict. That's how he fell under the control of the Dalamars and helped them with their evil schemes. Fortunately, he did have his moments of clarity. Moments where he was not mad. Those were the moments where he was able to help us. And that was what happened in the main game. So, that is it for Mystery Case Files Key to Ravenhurst. I hope you enjoyed watching me play this game. Check out my other walkthroughs for other Mystery Case Files games. I liked Shadow Lake. That was kind of a cool game. Uh, so thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it, everybody. Goodbye.